So do you enjoy playing the Nintendo Switch? I do. I mean, I, I, I love, 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 love playing Nintendo in general. Uh, for years, when I was growing up, got myself the original Nintendo. Check this puppy out. The original Nintendo, how beautiful did it look? Playing the original Super Mario was an absolute treat. And then moving to the Game Boy, through the lineup of the other consoles, all the way up to the Nintendo Switch. And now playing some of these awesome new games like the Mario games, the Zelda games, absolutely love it. And, you, and you've seen these YouTubers, you've seen all these people online on Twitch, and they're like, playing or well, they're showing you the game like how do they actually record the content do you just run a cable into a computer and just record it that way well sort of but not really you actually need a little device to actually be able to record the contents the gameplay of your nintendo switch hey everyone my name is emilio i love tech and hopefully you do too this channel is all about technology remember to click on that subscription button so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we are releasing you're going to need two things to get started the first thing is you need a Mac. Of course you need a Mac. And the Mac is the thing that you're gonna be using to actually be recording the content off your Switch. The second thing is you're gonna need one of these things, upside down. Essentially, you're gonna run the computer, your Mac, into the side of this, and the other end, you're running the Switch into it, and then essentially your Switch becomes visible on your Mac. You open up your Mac and it's like the Mac has become an external display. It's like your Mac has become a TV because you're gonna be able to see the content directly on your Mac to be able to then go and record it. Okay, so here's the setup. We've got ourselves our Nintendo Switch dock. The dock, right? You are very familiar with this and I'm sure you probably set this up. Maybe somebody else set it up for you. But if you open up the back of the dock, you'll see that there are a couple of cables that run into the back of your dock. One is a HDMI cable. Where is that HDMI cable going? Well, that's going into the side of your TV. The other is the power. A USB-C port is plugged into a power adapter and that is giving power to your dock, which then gives power to your Switch and there you go. And you can actually play your Switch on your TV. Easy, great. What you're gonna need to do is you now need to capture. You need to capture the video stream that is coming out of your Nintendo Switch into this little device, into the Elgato device. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna now unplug that HDMI cable out of your TV. This is the cable that's running from your Switch dock into your TV, you unplug it from the TV side and you're gonna run it into the port that says in on this little Elgato device. The Elgato device has two, you've got in and you've got out. You're gonna run the signal in to the side of this from your switch. Then next to that, you've got a USB port. This is a little USB-C, which is sort of like a newer sort of connection. You now need to be able to power this device and also transfer the data and the video. And one of the great things about USB-C, it's like that cable, that one cable to rule them all, it actually transfers power through the cable, it transfers video, and audio and data all through that one single cable. It comes in the box. You've got a cable that comes into the box, which is a USB-C to a USB-A connection. And of course, if you're on a newer sort of Mac, you may not even have a USB-A connection. So this is where you may need to get an adapter, like an adapter that converts USB-A to USB-C, such as an Apple one. Or you can also go and get yourself a USB-C to USB-C cable. What is that third port? Well, that third port is a microphone jack. This is great. Sure, you've seen people online that are actually talking as they're playing. Well, that's essentially what it gives them the ability to do. So you're gonna be able to run a headphone with microphone or a separate microphone into that particular port right there. And then you can actually capture the audio of you talking while you're playing. So once that's all ready to go, you now need to go and open up some software on your Mac to actually get the whole thing captured and then start recording the video feed from your Switch. So on your Mac, you're gonna wanna open up QuickTime. I've got it here on the dock. You can also go into the Finder area on your Mac applications and down to QuickTime. And QuickTime is the application that we're gonna be using to actually record our screen. You're gonna go into File, we're gonna click on Movie. Now by default, it's gonna use the camera on your Mac and here I am, hello. We're gonna select this little drop down, and we're gonna select Game Capture or the Elgato device. And there it is, that should be listed in there. If it's not, you're gonna to have to go and plug it in again, making sure it's the video feed, the camera, and also the microphone, which is your audio feed. You should now be getting the feed of your game. And here it is, here we got Zelda playing directly from our Switch and it's visible on my screen. 
The next thing is clicking on the record button to actually start recording that feed. Unless you click on record, you're just seeing it as an external display as a TV. And once you're happy with your gameplay that's finished, you click on stop, you can play it back. You can also go and actually save it directly onto a different location. You can click on file, save, and then select the location that you wanna save that recorded video and audio from your Switch, give it a relevant name, and then it's ready to go for you to be able to go and do your thing. If you don't want to use QuickTime, there is another application done by Elgato specifically on their product. You can go to their website and go and download the actual software that they recommend to do really the same thing. And you can go and download that directly for free off their website and you can really customize that as much as you need. But you've got either QuickTime or the Elgato software to record your Switch content on your Mac. So there you have it, they were the steps. Let us know down below what you thought. As I said, you can go and pick up one of these. I've thrown the link down below in the description. So go and pick one of those up. They are brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant and really, really easy to use. Go and do that. Subscribe, like, stay tuned for the next video. We continue talking about all things tech as well. We'll catch you on the next one.